Hi, my name is Mohamed Morsi. I'm a vascular surgeon and a professor of vascular surgery at UAMS. Uh, the arteries in the body develop two basic broad disease processes. One is aneurysmal, that is they get big, and the other is they clog off, so to speak. Atherosclerosis, they get narrowed. So <clears throat> any artery in the body, can, that can happen to either of those two processes. But the carotid arteries are the main arteries to your brain. Those arteries can develop narrowing. Almost everywhere in the body, atherosclerosis often occurs at a branch point. As you get atherosclerosis and narrowing in that carotid artery, two things, two bad things can happen. Some of that plaque can get loose and along with some platelets, some blood elements, can migrate, can get loose and migrate up to your brain and cause a stroke or it can cause a mini stroke, what we call a TIA, a transient ischemic event, TIA, mini stroke. So that can happen um, if a plaque gets loose. It can also happen if that artery gets so narrowed that it clogs off, clogs off completely, and now you have low blood flow to your brain and you can get a stroke. Once you have a narrowing in your carotid artery and that's identified, then you come see me as a vascular surgeon and we discuss our options for the treatment. First and foremost, you need to be on aspirin or a super aspirin, Plavix, for sure. You have to be on an antiplatelet agent, aspirin or Plavix. And then we have to decide whether we should go in and clean that artery up to prevent you from having a stroke. We're not trying to get more blood flow to your brain. We're not trying to make your memory better or, or you know, anything like that or think better. We're just trying to prevent a stroke. And so the, there's clear-cut data that if you have a 70% narrowing or greater, 70% or greater, that we should proceed with going in and cleaning out that plaque to prevent you from having a stroke. And what we're able to do as vascular surgeons is take you to the operating room and not even put you to sleep. We just numb up the, the side of your neck, make an incision, go in, take out the plaque, and then close that artery back up and to lessen your risk of stroke. The advantage of you being awake is that I can clamp that artery without having to divert blood flow because you're able to talk to me, you're able to move your hand, and I know that you're doing okay. And that's really advantageous. There's not many places that do awake carotid endarterectomy. That's the procedure. It's called a carotid endarterectomy when we go in and clean out that artery. There are other ways to treat that carotid narrowing, and that's with a stent. That's not the preferred way, but given certain circumstances, for instance, a patient that is absolutely too ill to undergo an operation, or a patient that's had already had multiple neck surgeries, that option is available to us, and we provide that service here and that care here at UAMS.